Hi, my name is Stefan Clemmel and I'm a data analyst at Ash Industries. Ash Industries is a plastic mold injection company that makes all kinds of different parts out of all kinds of different materials. Our objective for this game was to get rid of a lot of our excess regrind material. Regrind material comes from bad parts or rejected parts from our customers that may have some form of an imperfection. Now we can't sell these parts, but sometimes we are able to regrind them and use them in other parts mixed with our virgin material. So we wanted to get rid of nine regrind Gaylords in six weeks. This was going to help us clear up our shelves in a timely fashion because regrind material is basically just trash sitting on yourself and it takes up space and it wastes money. So our benefits were going to be that we were going to be able to save about 7,200 to 10,000 pounds of virgin material. Now, that's first off a lot of pounds, but also our material costs anywhere between 30 cents and $27, and that adds up quick. So this is going to save us a huge amount of money for the company. Because you're not able to use 100% regrind material, you have to mix it with a percentage of our virgin material and depending on what material you're using you can mix anywhere between 20 and 10 and 20 percent. Our players for this game were our production employees. We have three shifts of production employees and each one of them had to work together and communicate in order to make sure we were using as much regrind as we possibly could in the parts and still have good parts coming out of the machine. Our time frame was six weeks, like I said, and we had production huddles every other week where we went over how we were doing in the game, how could we improve, where can we make changes, and if it looks like we're going to be making it to our overall goal of that nine Gaylords. So our theme was trash to cash. Uh, turning trash back into cash in our pockets was our big thing for the game. So regrind is literally just trash that we didn't throw away and we want to reuse. When we reuse it, we save money on parts, which becomes more profits that we can make, which is more cash in our pockets. Our scoreboard for the game involves the nine Gaylords of material that we're trying to get rid of, the nine regrind materials. It also shows a regrind machine and our production molding machines. Every time we used a Gaylord of regrind, we would put a green cash bag on it, signifying that that Gaylord was used in production. Our rewards for the, the minigame were work gloves for the, the first two weeks, hefty trash bags, and Walmart gift cards for the second. And at the very end, we had a big ha uh, Hawaiian-themed hog roast for each of the departments. They all came together, and we had two hours that we had this big cookout. It was really nice. So playing the game, our operations manager was our scorekeeper for the game. He was the one in charge of making sure that all of our materials were being used in a timely fashion, and he was the one that handed out the green trash bags if a regrind Gaylord was used. So like I said, we had this two hour time slot at the very end. We actually did succeed in reaching our goal of using all nine Gaylords, which cleared up tons of space on our shelves for other materials, and it saved the company a ton of money. This is, uh, so how we celebrated was this two hour time slot. We had this big cookout. Uh, we had played music, hung out. Overall, it was a, a big boost for morale for the employees and a big boost for our, uh, everyone's pocket for our profit sharing. So it was a really good way to get this started because this was one of the first games that we did with Great Game. The Pregnancy Care Center participated in a mini game that is for the social sectors. So our critical number was to increase awareness to clients in the community. PCC's mission is to offer hope and help to families facing the challenges of unplanned pregnancy. We want to give them practical knowledge and skills for anyone wanting to become a better parent. So all services are free and confidential. 
Our objective was to distribute brochures, which includes information about PCC services in the community. We want them to call PCC first when experiencing an unplanned pregnancy. Our improvement goal was to distribute zero to a thousand brochures in 90 days. The benefit that we see of this mini game is increased critical number of services per client, awareness of our services, client referrals, and credibility for charitable donations. When identifying the players, we were excited to have full team participation. This included client services, administrative staff, our development and fundraising team, and even volunteers. The theme was fun and familiar for everyone. Ghostbusters, who are you gonna call? PCC. So we updated the scoreboard every week before our huddle on Tuesday mornings, and we played the theme song before each huddle to pump up the team and get them excited. The goal was to move the Ghostbusters car along the road and past each checkpoint along the way until they got to our center at Pregnancy Care Center, Prego Parking. Our prizes and awards were a 30 day slime sherbet and themed cookie party. We also gave away cell phone accessories, little pop sockets. And finally, we got to celebrate our win playing laser tag and pretending like we were inside the Ghostbusters movie. The company that we went to for the laser tag party even assigned all of us fun nicknames. So I continued to call each other by those nicknames throughout the weeks following. And it was just a really fun team building experience. Some highlights would be that we passed out, past our initial goal of a thousand brochures and actually had to increase our goal partway through the game. And we ended up distributing 3,525 brochures to people in the community. Another highlight was that we trained each team member how to share about our services to members of the community in a simple and consistent way. And this is still a wonderful skill that our team has been able to distribute and communicate these things consistently. We achieved our critical program number, which was to increase the number of services per client. Here's some team feedback from this mini game specifically. You know, I'll just read some highlights. We thought our initial goal was too ambitious, but as you can see, we increased the goal partway through and that just got everyone so excited. We challenged ourselves to think outside the box and encouraged each other. It was fun and rewarding to achieve our goal. Um, another one is it was easy to stay on task with a fun theme like Ghostbusters. And having a mini game really helped me to focus on the one thing that we could do to improve our number. The momentum built each week as we continued to move past our goal. And the mini game triggered a whole new element of motivation, creativity, and passion for the mission our team was on. It transformed our view from seeing the results as a number to a reflection of the energy we put into our mission. So I just wanna thank you for this platform where we could share about the success we've had with Pregnancy Care Center, with our mini game, and just brand awareness in the community for clients and for partners who want to come alongside and join PCC in the mission to save lives and strengthen families. Hi, I'm Logan Aguirre with 417 Magazine, and I'm excited to talk to you about our mini game focused on office supplies. The objective was to be more aware of our everyday office consumption. We were looking to reduce and reuse common office resources and supplies. This was tied in directly to our 2019 critical number, which is a profit target. So we knew that every single person in the business had line of sight on how to save on expenses, even those that couldn't help on the revenue side knew they could help impact on the saving side. Our goal was to have 54 behavior changes. This equated to one behavior change each week per department. The game was nine weeks long. We pre-huddled each Tuesday and then reviewed in our weekly huddle each Wednesday and went over our new commits for the week. The players were each employee in the building was a player and our scorekeepers were Megan, Bernadette, Kristen, and Logan Swope. 
To talk about the estimated benefits, we walked our team through some financial literacy and reminded them of our dollar exercise that we had learned during our great game kickoff. And that was based on our profit margin from 2018, we knew that to save $1 um, or to make a dollar, we needed to sell $55 worth of goods and services. When we put that into terms of something like toilet paper, we were able to explain to our team that for every roll of toilet paper we used, uh, the sales team had to sell $25. We made the theme a Candyland theme and called it 417 Land, a company consumption game. And we had a path from A to Z to, to help our team follow along. And the board was completely made out of recycled materials, many from our actual magazines. Our prize and award schedule was that if we had 18 changes by June 19th, the whole company could participate in Office Olympics. By the July 10th, if we had 36 changes, we powered the office down early on a Friday, and that way we saved on utilities. And finally, for our staff retreat day that we call Word, if we had 54 changes by then, we would be at the lake and have some boats to go out on. This is an idea of all the commits that came up. This is just a sampling. One big one was we made sure that every single computer or yeah, everybody's computer had settings for printing double-sided. That was something that not everyone knew how to do. We moved to paperless agendas, so doing more things digitally and reusing ticky, sticky tabs. And then anytime anyone went to a trade show, taking all the pens and bringing them back to use. Our actual benefit that was for the year, we decreased our office supply expenses by 34%, which was $16,720 in savings. When you look at revenue, that means it was $919,000 that our sales team did not have to sell. We actually saw savings in other areas because we got excited about other ways that we could impact our expenses. On utilities, we had a 17% savings, 23% on internet, and 11% savings on telephone. We celebrated the win because we hit every single benchmark. So you can see some photos from our office Olympics and from our celebration day out on the lake with the boats. Thank you.